In the mirror, Andrea looks back at the woman that was once broken. It's only when you look back that you realise you haven't been living a normal existence. Even now, I don't sit down, slob out in pyjamas and watch TV because I'm still in flight. They call it flight and fight for survivors. And I can't settle. I can't sit and relax. So this house that I'm in now is the first time I've locked the door and I know I'm safe. Five years ago, she began a marriage, moved home, started up her own business. In fact, Andrea was convinced she was living the dream. But it wasn't long before the dream became a living nightmare. Sometimes the kitchen sink would be a mess because he'd made it a mess and that was okay. Other days, I made it a mess. There was hell to pay. There was a problem because I'd made that kitchen sink a mess. But the next day, I'd look and he'd made it a mess and it was okay. The boundaries moved all the time. The threat of violence is very, very powerful. And if you look through time, through history and through abusive relationships, it's the threat of violence. So there was a taser in the bedside cabinet. There was um, lots and lots of different, um, what I would say weapons, air guns, um, different things around the house, an ax, that's the threat of violence. That's really powerful as a control mechanism. Now she's taking her story of surviving domestic abuse to the stage. From my experiences, I thought I can either go one way or the other. I can become bitter and twisted and feel really angry with the world and also with men. Or I can actually change the world somehow. So I decided to write. I had really severe post-traumatic stress disorder. Um, diagnosed once the break from the marriage became clear and I was so traumatised I couldn't speak I couldn't get out of bed I couldn't work and I couldn't look after my children it was a really dark time but what I could do with write and when I say write I wrote 12 to 15 poems a day and that's all I could do I began to perform and it was difficult for me because believe it or not I couldn't speak now I can't shut up um, and I created an alter ego called Swingerella to perform through. But we survive. As with any form of domestic abuse, finding help to escape is often the hardest step. And now, through her alter ego and love of arts, Swingerella creates awareness to help other men and women where the message hope is bigger than fear. Monica Plaha, Big News in Birmingham. But we survive.